Alrighty, we're sitting in the Walgreens parking lot. This is the beginning of a big journey, guys. What's up? My name's Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome back to my channel. Do me a huge favor before we get started. Right down there, click on subscribe and like the video and also ring the little notification bell. That way you don't miss any of the videos that we post. So, last week, was it last week that we went? Two weeks ago? We already mentioned on a previous video, which I'll post up in the corner here, that we had big announcements for 2024 and that we were going to take the journey again through IVF to see if we can have baby number two. So two weeks ago, we went to the Texas Fertility Clinic and got the thumbs up from our doctor. And today we went and picked up the, uh, the first step here is getting this lady on birth control. So there's the birth control that we just picked up. So Heather's going to get on birth control and it's gonna help regulate the hormones in our system. And once all of that gets regulated, hopefully this time next month, we'll be going in to get a little bitty embryo implant. Yeah, I don't have my watch on me either. Um, <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. We're gonna do this whole crazy mess again. So, this YouTube channel kind of got started because of the IVF process and I have a whole playlist of videos right up here. You can go check out the first round that we did of IVF if you're curious about it. Um, but there's not a whole lot of people out there talking about it and sharing their journey. And since we did the first time, we wanna bring you guys along for the second time. So we don't know, we don't know if this is this is gonna stick or not, but we're gonna give it a good try because right now we have 15 embryos that have just been on ice, literally at the fertility clinic, waiting for us to tell them what we wanna do with it. And we finally decided that we are going to go for it because other big things have happened, which I'll hopefully be able to share with you guys in a couple of months. Not ready to share it right now, but in a couple of months, we also have another really big announcement, which is gonna change the channel a lot. Uh, but anyways, we are gonna get started on this birth control, right my dear? <laughs> yeah, and hopefully we're gonna be having lots of McDonald's french fries in our future. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to Walmart because the baby we currently have, she's not a little baby anymore. And it's about time to start potty training. Just say a little prayer for us. Let's go to Walmart and check it out. Well, there it is. The My Size Potty Pro. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. So, <laughs> So we haven't really started potty training yet, but now that we have this, it's gotta happen because putting the hand down the pants and bringing the things out of the pants that should stay in the pants. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about that life. So we're gonna have to learn today. All right, day one, mama, all right.
but you're on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, which side you want it on? just did our trigger shot so when you go for IVF you check your fertility usually with a appointment where they check to see if you're ovulating and then if you're ovulating then they calculate everything and tell you okay on this day between this time you're gonna have to take this shot that's what you just saw and then usually the following day you go in for your transfer well, surprise, surprise, my wife just happens to know her body very well and tested her hormone level levels last night. And she was already ovulating. We weren't supposed to go and check to see if she was going to need to start to do the ovulation stuff this week, tomorrow, and then the transfer a week after. So we called, got blood work. I said, yeah, you're ovulating. So got our trigger shot and told us what time to do it. That's what you guys just watched. And then tomorrow... We're gonna just double check her lining, and then if everything goes well, oh, we're going to the big leagues. Well, folks, good morning. It's uh, let's see, what is it? Oh my god! All right, it's Monday, the eleventh, March eleventh, day after our wedding anniversary. And, uh, oh. anyways, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. I don't know if I've done an intro for this video or not, because it's been a long time coming. But we are at the Texas Fertility Clinic this morning. This past weekend, Heather was very in tune with her body and tested her hormone levels. And looks like she may be ready for uh, egg transfer. A lot sooner than the doctors had expected so she's up in the room right now with the doctors well a couple years ago when we did this when we got lion kids were not allowed and they've taken all of those signs down and last time we were up here to start this process a couple of weeks ago there was somebody up here with their child about the same age as lion so She's here, she's in the back seat watching her favorite Disney shows, but I thought it'd be best for us to stay in the car, make Heather less stressed, because these procedures are highly invasive. Um, so if you're thinking about doing IVF, we have a partner that's doing IVF, just understand that these procedures are hard on whoever's going to be carrying and be kind because they are not very fun to sit through. Anyways, we're just waiting on her to get her lining check and if everything turns out okay, then we're ready for an embryo transfer. So don't know how that's gonna play out, but we're here and we're excited. Uh, hopefully I'll have an update soon for this video. So stick around. Okay, so let's do a couple of things here. Let's recap. So we started the IVF treatment again. Heather started taking um, birth control. We went back and got checked and we were cleared to move on to the next step, which is to um, take a different kind of medicine. Heather. So we have some home fertility tests, um, ovulation tests. We got to the point where day before, two days before, uh, we were going in to get our lining 
check and a follicle check on her and she just felt off so she took an ovulation test and it looked like she was surging so she contacted our doctor and we came in uh, did blood work and came in and she checked and she actually was like I don't know what to do because on pen and paper it looked like we were ready to move on to the next step but when we looked at the actual follicles it does not look like they were ready so we're waiting another month and we're gonna go back in try it again so we'll have another update this is round one it was a swing and a miss essentially but that's okay that's why we go to a fertility uh, treatment place and they're super good Texas Fertility Clinic amazing people to work with so we'll have another update soon we already have our new meds that we already got uh going um but yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up because there's not a whole lot else to oh actually i guess there's a little bit as you can tell that there's a bunch of stuff missing in the office you can see that there's boxes here in the background and that's because in less than six weeks we're going to be out of this house so stay tuned because I do have a video coming up about that, um, where we're going and what we're doing. But for right now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember, life is about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Get it. Get it, Go get it. Go get it, Bubba. Get it, Bubba. Get it, Bubba. Get it, Bubba. Ah. Ah.